going on to you cancer crabs so before we begin a couple of announcements just bear with me there's a link in the comment section below called a link tree link click on it it will redirect you to a website which has all the ways to financially support the channel so i can most definitely keep the channel going to all the people that came through get readings from me shout outs to y'all okay if there was no you there would be no me as it is that i've said time and time and time again and one of the things that I'm learning to do is to also give y'all the credit, like I said before, right? If it wasn't for you, there would be no me. Uh, so please keep coming through, right? It really does help. But also, please make sure to watch this whole video all the way through because I'm gonna actually do the tarot reading video first and then basically halfway through this video, right? You're gonna have another segment of the why I love the cancer crabs video, right? All in one video. So you don't wanna miss it. Anyway, so if you cancer crabs, you have the page of swords, the nine of wands, and you have the sun card. So these three cards right here for you cancer crabs really does speak to the level of insecurity and the level of un ungratefulness that a lot of people that you used to date or could have been a potential um, romantic interest really, really exhibited. They were people that essentially, right, the Page of Swords, the Nine of Wands, they didn't really have the plan that you Cancer Crabs have, right? Because Cancer Crabs, y'all be having plans and plans and plans, right? Sometimes people will think that a lot of y'all are overly emotional and stupid, but that's not really true. A lot of the times you Cancer Crabs be having real deep, no no pun intended but deep state plans like y'all will be having plans and plans and plans and plans y'all be thinking two three four five ten fifteen twenty twenty five years ahead and that level of long-term thinking is what a lot of other zodiac signs including myself can really take from you and really learn from your example and this really represents how a lot of these people couldn't see the long-term goal, right? It was more so about them having to put on and compete, think of you as competition, something that they have to win against, someone that they have to win against. And the Sun card represents, this really showed their level of insecurity. Because the Sun card represents where attention goes, right? Because that's what the sun does. The sun illuminates, it brings light. It, it is light and it brings light to wherever it is that it shines on. So it was a big problem. It, be, it, it wasn't, you, you know, at first, a lot of you cancer crabs may have thought about it and you may have brushed it off at first, but now it's like a lot of you cancer crabs, when you, one of the reasons why you had to stop talking to one of these, people from the past in the first place was due to the fact of how overbearing they were. You know what I mean? They were very much so caught up with the idea of needing to win against you at all costs. And you cancer crabs didn't even necessarily see the interaction or see them like competition or someone that needed to be won against. You know, so it it made them look really stupid. So now the Seven of Swords and the Eight of and the uh, Eight of Pentacles represents a lot of you Cancer Crabs. You had to put an end to that because of that same very reason. And since you stopped talking to that weirdo from the past, and what I mean when I say the weirdos, I'm talking about the people that you could have had some sort of romantic interest in, or may have been someone that you did take romantic interest in and the two of you were dating for a little while you cancer crabs realized that you had to stop talking to them because you're better off without them and like it is i said before a lot of you cancer crabs your your ability to walk away is immaculate the ability to wear for real i, I don't I, I i really still to this day as a virgo let me take off the glasses Still to this day as a Virgo, me being analytical, right? I still don't know how it is that the cat, you cast crabs can feel what it is that y'all feel 
and have the ability to feel that deeply and still walk away despite that. Me as a Virgo, I'm mostly analytical and I am still learning. Using you Cancer Crabs as an example to be able to as analytical as I possibly can be, still learn how to walk away when some nonsense shows up. It's hard for me sometimes. And that's something that I am learning from you Cancer Crabs to have that become easier and easier and easier without feeling like I'm missing out on anything. And even if I am missing out on something, still, it is, it is what it is, walk away. So a lot of you cancer crabs understand that you're not missing anything from them and from walking away, right? You had, you know, your self-respect is more important than, than them because they weren't really bringing a whole lot of value to the table anyway. The five of cups and the chariot now is about how the best thing for you to do, I honestly see that a lot of you cancer crabs, like I said before, you may have even gotten with somebody brand new, like I was just talking about. Regardless of whether you cancer crabs are with someone brand new or whether you're single, that's for all you cancer crabs. I'm, I'm talking about just cancer crabs in general. Regardless of whether you're with someone new or not, you're very much so getting in touch with your own spiritual basis, your spiritual value, and figuring out who you are on an even deeper level so that when people that you may ha um, interact with, that that is if you're not with the same person or if, this, or if that person some of you are with now starts switching up and moving a goalpost, you cancer crabs have the ability to not allow the person to sit back and disrespect you too much, regardless of however long the two of you have been together. Um, going back on to the idea that you cancer crabs have been meeting somebody the chariot right here and the world does represent how you have someone where if you have met somebody you cancer crabs the person was like you know what if other people don't want you I, I want you so the world represents you're trying to make sure to gatekeep either this relationship that you have with yourself and another person, trying to keep them on the hush as much as possible. Or even if you are single, you're just trying, you're, you're not, you don't want, you're learning from your lessons and you're learning that you can't allow so many people to get into your relationship. A lot of you cancers understand that when you're dating someone, they kind of become a celebrity in the sense that, you know, <laughs> the social circle around you wants to really get at this person and, and, and give this person a chance to see who they actually are. And one of the things that you cancer crabs have to understand is, and even spiritually on another level where maybe e e even if it isn't your social group, the person still ends up becoming a celebrity overnight spiritually right metaphysically i should say in a sense that as well as spiritually in a sense that even if it's not somebody like even if it's not necessarily one of your so-called friends trying to get at your new person then it seems like every pe every person that you are in a relationship with now all of a sudden other people are interested in them <laughs> so now you know what i mean so now it's like this person has to figure a way to have you cancer crabs and at the same time have to deal with the pressure of so many people being interested in them now all of a sudden because you cancer crabs are interested. So the 10 of pentacles and the nine of cups now represents how since that's the case, a lot of you, this is essentially what it is that you wanted. Like it is, as I said before, a lot of you cancer crabs are getting a lot of the things that you want. You have that family unit. You have that ability to create that long-term relationship with someone that you trust because a lot of you are getting into relationships. For you cancer crabs that are not in a relationship, then it says that you are getting to know some people. So even for you cancer crabs who are not necessarily 
in a relationship, a lot of you are getting to know some people. So it's not like y'all don't have anything cooking. So let's clarify some of these cards. Let's clarify the, uh, the Ten of Pentacles. Let's clarify the Ten of Pentacles. The, the star, five of cups, five of wands, page of wands, queen of wands, to clarify the ten of pentacles. So the star card and the five of cups represents you and this person actually seem to be hitting it off quite well. Um, I do see, however, right, that... You Cancer Crabs, like I said before, a lot of you want to remain this connection between yourselves and this newfound person very much so a secret because a lot of you Cancer Crabs do not want anyone that you know to get too to anyone that you know to get too close to the person that you're dating because you don't trust them. You know what I mean? You don't want to have them essentially trying to talk to them behind your back or trying to necessarily put some nonsense in their head about you that's that was a complete misunderstanding you want this to be as private this relationship to be as private as possible but not only that too i'm also seeing that you know you really do have to watch out for any kind of so-called friends or family or any kind of <laughs> intruders coming in trying to mess up this interaction between you because there's some sort of commotion or, or, or problem or issue that could actually be sparked. Some sort of fire that you, Cancer Crabs, may need to put out between you and this person or these people in general, regardless of whether you're in a relationship with them or it's a potential. The two of you are just now starting to create one. I'm saying that you need to definitely put out fires before you know what I mean? Like, like see it happening when these small little forest fires, metaphorically speaking, come to happen, put it out. Right. And then you have the uh, page of wands and then you have the queen of wands. So the page of wands and the queen of wands is about you cancer crabs understanding that, hey, you know, you want to see how far it is that you and this person can go. Even, put, uh, you know, y'all know that I don't sit up here and lie to y'all BS and sugarcoat stuff and all that stuff. Look, even going up to the level of marriage, because what it is I'm seeing here with these two cards could, together in the same reading for this one, even going up to marriage, if it goes up to marriage. So a lot of you cancer crabs are most definitely courting to see where it could go. You're not planning on marriage. But you cancer crabs are most definitely open to it. So I love cancer crabs because a lot of you know how to have a good time. Um, when a cancer crab is ready uh, and they're not scared to be in a relationship because, you know, y'all are, y'all are some of the most guarded people I've ever met. I'm just keeping a, a buck with y'all. But whenever it is that y'all are ready, y'all can essentially create heaven on earth pretty much you and libras can create heaven on earth um it's just that sometimes a lot of you cancer crabs are so worried about people trying to take advantage of y'all y'all don't really understand y'all own importance and y'all don't really understand kind of why it is a lot of you are even here meaning existing in the first place so I'm just kind of here to tell y'all a little bit about yourselves, right? So just in case y'all really get it through y'all heads. Um, so not only are you cancer crabs a very good time, right? You create a lot of excitement when it comes to people hanging out with you. Uh, I love a lot of you cancer crabs anyway, because a lot of you can really understand when your mind and your heart are in the correct place. Y'all are not a zodiac sign that tends to ignore the invisible things. When your when your mind and your heart are in the correct place, y'all are not zodiac signs that will ignore the elephant in the room. Y'all actually address the elephant in the room. That there's way more to life than only the outside 
and how analytical a person can be. And because a lot of you cancer crabs can, can attest to, and not only attest to, but speak about the invisible realm or the invisible things that like emotions, right? Like compassion, like anger, like love. Uh, since you cancer crabs are able to speak to it, a lot of you cancer crabs can essentially sway a lot of other people, right? And this is what it is that I mean when I say that in, in a lot of my videos, cancer, right? I talk about how in order to in order to control the universe, you have to ultimately learn to stop trying to control other people. Because a lot of you cancer crabs don't really attain that level of understanding and enlightenment until you actually can look at yourself at that, that, as that set of example first and foremost before you, before you start talking to other people. So in other words, what it is I'm trying to say is I have cancer crabs in my chart as a south node. And technically speaking, that's not any kind of planetary position, but it is a spiritual one. And this is the same type of spiritual position that I'm talking about because my south node is in cancer and the south node are always 100 percent of the time. Opposite zodiac sign signs, that means that my north node is Capricorn, right? Now, it's appropriate that the north node be in an earth sign and the south node be in a water sign. That's actually the best placement because whether it's Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, because water does represent the south and earth represents the north, right? But specifically, why? Because with water, you, you dive down deep, right? You go lower than the surface, you go south, you dive deeper south right below. So it is appropriate, appropriate, excuse me. Now, why that's a very important thing to have a cancer crab as a, as a South node is because I have the ability to my, I have the ability myself and all the people who have water signs as South nodes have the ability to understand emotions from other people and what's going on with someone, not just externally, but internally. A lot of things bother people but uh, but in this society especially when you're living in a society society like the united states and i'm not bashing anybody right like i'm not bashing the government and trying to make it a political thing y'all know this is not a political channel i'm just here to say it like it is right but in this society and stuff like this i don't care about talking about stupid politics anyway but the point is is that in this society, a lot of things end up bothering a lot of other people. And when it bothers them, they tend to not voice what's going on. They, they understand that it's a problem, but they're raising people to be shall shallow or shadows of themselves in the sense of hide what's, what it is that they are feeling, tuck it away and don't even show it on your face while other people who got the upper hand because they seem to be in some form of competition ignores the pain that they have caused another person unjustifiably. So with the cancer crab thing, from having cancer crab in my chart as a south node, that's a very important thing because the north node in the person's chart represents the direction of where it is that they're supposed to be going in life as to where their south node represents their propensities or the things that they already naturally have. But the north node represents the skills that they are supposed to build and some things that they already have, but what it is that they're also supposed to build on top of. And that's exactly what it is that I'm talking about. Cancer Crabs teaches you how to see the invisible world. And I don't necessarily, I'm not necessarily talking about speaking about ghosts and paranormal phenomena per se. I'm talking about the ability to understand others innately, how they're feeling, read other people, understand when a person is particularly bothered, 
but they're remaining quiet and they just have this blank look on their face and have the ability to actually be able to understand this person is really bothered by this. And they're doing their endeavor best to not say anything because they're trying to keep the peace, but their chest is burning because they're upset. So when a cancer crab to have to, to be a cancer, this is what it is. That's that's one of the innate abilities that you cancer crabs have. OK, you have the ability to understand what's really going on with the entire species and the water signs do in general, whether it's Pisces, Scorpio or cancer crabs. But specifically with cancer crabs, it's a catch 22. And this is why I kind of love y'all, but you have to be able to. I love y'all, but you have to be able to know what exactly is going on, right? With this kind of energy, because why I love you cancer crabs is because even though you cancer crabs can be, you know, sporadic, unpredictable, just like all the water signs are, you actually represent the remedy. And what I mean when I say the remedy, I mean, the ability to nourish yourself. That's one of the things that cancer crabs represents. It represents self-nourishment. It represents the ability to take care of oneself. So if there was no such thing as you cancer crabs, there would be no ability to grow up. There would be no development. There would be no spiritual adulthood. It would be people, no matter how old they get, they continue to act like children. They continue to be emotionally illiterate. So you cancer crabs call, challenge people when your mind and your heart are in the correct place, right? To essentially grow up. And that has sway over other people, meaning influence. You're not controlling them. It's not full blown hard coercion it's not full-blown hard control but you do have a very big stake or say so in other people's lives regardless of whether or not you cancer crabs truly know it because you have because of the fact that you have the ability to understand what it is that people are trying to privatize right act like they're the toughest people in the world by showing nothing but a blank face no matter what it is that happens to them while the other person sits back and wants to lord over them and parade like they're feeling proud in a in a in a sadomasochistic kind of interaction you cancer crowds actually will speak up for the next person you know and that's one of the, another reason why it is that I, I like y'all. Y'all actually, or I love y'all. Y'all will speak up for the next person when you see fit. Now, obviously not all the time because Cancer Crabs represents the anti-hero, you know, but <laughs> whenever it is that you see fit to do that, you Cancer Crabs will speak up for other people. And that's something that a lot of other people may not do. An Aries may not do that. A Taurus may not do that. You see, a Leo may not do that. So you cancer crabs having the ability or the, the, the heart to do that is amazing. So you nourish yourself, you speak up for other people when you are moved to, you have influence because you sway other people because other people are inspired by you and you also challenge people to start paying attention to themselves and who they are more and what they, and what they want and need and stop being so worried about trying to fit in into other people's sadistic game another reason why it is that like i said i love you cancer crabs is because um you know there was a point in time where i wanted to have a couple of cast crabs uh, uh girlfriends and uh very physically attractive you know what i mean very physically i was definitely attracted to both of them uh or all of them because i i know a lot i'm kind of starting to know a lot of y'all um unfortunately it didn't last to to it didn't get to relationship status but when you cancer crabs want to 
uh, support somebody and actually have their back. Like I said, it goes right back to the heaven on earth thing. It's wonderful because it's it's delicate. It's it's you know delicate. It's beautiful. It's it's feminine. It's uh, you know <laughs> it's nice. You know I like it and um it's you know it's like I said it's wonderful. Um, another reason why does I, I like you uh, can't now. You know, your tempers, you know, you know, you know, I ain't even going to talk about it. But, you know, the point is, is that I, I honestly, you know, you're another thing, too. Right. Your ability to make an absorbent amount of money, you know, cancer crabs and Capricorns, you know, the, the I mean, money flows to y'all. You know, it, it really does. And it's and it's truly crazy, you know what I mean? So um not only that too, but adulthood. Adulthood well, I should say, excuse me, I, excuse me, parenthood, excuse me. Parenthood is a very Im important and powerful thing for a cancer crab because parenthood is something where it's like, you know, it it a lot of y'all can be very good parents if y'all put y'all mind to it. You know, because water can water can hydrate you or drown you. So, but if you put your minds to it, a lot of you cancer crabs can be very great parents, very protective. You know what I mean? Very not wanting to see anything happen to your children, and wanting to make sure that your your children are actually prepared. You know, and and you won't, you know, kind of kind of cast your children away. You very much so love your children, no matter how old they get, no matter what age they are, you really do love them. And that's an amazing thing, you know, because especially at a time like today, a lot of parents shouldn't really be parents. Um, yeah, they shouldn't be, you know what I mean? I'm not gonna get too deep into that, but they really shouldn't be. And um, you cancer crabs, uh, a lot of you cancer crabs uh, can be good parents, regardless of whether you're single or with your, or if you're with somebody. Now, obviously, if you're with somebody and the two of you end up actually being uh, a good team, you work well together, right? Good cop, bad cop. Obviously, that's an amazing outcome, right? Trust is there because that child will really grow up to understand what love is and consideration is, and they will grow up to be a very big contributing member to society. And they'll be and they'll feel and they'll be proud to actually give back. So, I mean, I could go further, but I'm, I'm going to actually leave it here. That's just some of the ways or reasons why I love cancer crabs.